G'day, this is Kanga Cans. I've just spent a week with a really interesting kid from North County, San Diego, Austin Ware. It's just a, a surprise to me that he is 153rd on the WQS because given the standard of surfing, there's really something going wrong with what this kid's doing. Check out a couple of waves here just to see what I mean. This is one of the larger waves that Austin rode during our trestle session and I really like the big carving moves, big powerful off the tops big hard snaps, it really shows that he's got a lot of big carbon moves that are really good for high level QS and perhaps even WCT surfing. On this wave at Salt Creek, good size wave and a very very committed powerful snap off the top, dredging wave, goes up and hits it again, this good sequence of maneuvers on the backside shows really high talent. My new program that I'm teaching all of these young guys I'm working with is preparation for the World Championship Tour. It's taking a last year of the World Qualifying Series and really emphasizing skills, how well you surf a wave, strategy, how well you work the lineup, and attitude is how much passion and energy and focus you bring to your competition. I worked with Austin for five days, one day at Salt Creek with some really nice waves. My first session with any surfer is for me to understand how they surf, how they move around the break, what waves they select, and with Austin it was no exception. You know, he obviously shows some good surfing talent, but there was a lack of energy and really a, a lack of commitment to pushing for everything he could get out of a wave. And this gives me a chance to work with someone. Now one of the key things here was maximize the maneuvers, try to get high performance and not fall off. Now one of the other issues we had out here was get in the barrel and force your way out. With this wave, when Austin's taking off in a big set wave, I really love the commitment to the huge bottom turn, the big off the top snap, the sequence of maneuvers, and these are high performance moves getting the board way out over the top of the wave. Good surfing on that one. Here we have Austin on another big right, big slash with an airdrop, but here he loses the plot and doesn't continue into the inside section. That's a big failure there. Now another backside wave, and it's obvious that Austin's got a lot of potential to score well on his backside surfing. Very, very hot maneuvers. And you know, this is sort of very, very high level QS surfing here. Here's Austin on another really good left, but a very, very lackluster performance off that first maneuver. Now here he gets the board really vertical. He has to do that on every backhand maneuver. Slow driving down the line here, not much happening there, but he does finish with a nice vertical re-entry. Then we went down to Oceanside, it was a little bit smaller, but you know, it's some pretty good quality waves. Austin really got into the swing of things here at Oceanside, finding a quick left up on the south side bank, big snaps. This is a really, I like Austin surfing his backside. Gets tons of maneuvers, very, very vertical re-entry to finish off that wave. That put him in position for a wave near the jetty, and on this wave, it really shows some flair, throwing a big snap there, committed maneuver, and linking into a second maneuver and a third maneuver. This was a good competitive flurry of waves. Two waves quickly at the start of a session. Then he moves across to the south side right-hander and quickly gets into a wave. And this wave is a little bit flatter, but he's showing some commitment and aggression. But here he makes a mistake. You cannot fall on maneuvers like that quickly onto another wave, tons of wave count, and I like the way that that was a quick aggressive snap, and even though the waves are flat, Austin's able to keep the board moving, and he's a big guy, so this is difficult, and it's a California trait, you're able to ride nothing, and still perform well. Austin quickly moved into another wave, and this had a really nice snap to it, a lot of water getting pushed there, comes across for a big snap, and he should have made that, it's a bad mistake quickly onto another wave, look at the energy in the surfing, out onto tons of waves, doing big snaps, even though these waves are small and flat, he's still able to do good solid maneuvers, and that as a result of the energy from paddling to tons of waves in the lineup. Increase your wave count when the waves are small. And again, can he pull something tricky here? Look at the snap on that maneuver. This is a direct result of the amount of energy that's generated from increasing the wave count and look at his pumping energy into the wave, getting finishing maneuvers on the inside section here. It's the kind of energy that's necessary in WQS surfing.
big snapping maneuver, again another mistake. Too many mistakes is not good. But we see Austin gets back on the board, starts a big slash move there. And in these flatter waves, he's still able to get maneuvers going, but again a fall. So this is going to be a focus for the rest of the sessions, is get onto the good waves and not make mistakes. Driving down the line. Now that was a really great cutback there. Lots of speed and flow. Even though the wave is small, he's able to generate the energy, which is difficult for a bigger guy. Now here we've got an opportunity for him to show his backhand. Nice slash off the top, throwing spray, big spray there. Nice rhythm there into a big vertical maneuver, four big solid maneuvers in a row. That's a really great way. And look at here, pumping down the line, vertical snap, lots of energy going there, big spray, nice cutbacks, round moves. On this next wave, we see a lot of energy in this wave, driving under a section, coming up with speed, very aggressive cutback. Nice timing on another aggressive cutback over the white water. That was the kind of energy that gets created by paddling around and catching tons of waves. Big snap off the top, commitment to major maneuvers, having trouble handling the wave going flat. But he's able to keep the board moving with energy, which is really difficult to do, and it's a result of catching lots of waves and pumping and keeping the board moving. This is the sort of surfing that is essential to finishing off complete waves in the WQS. During this session at Oceanside, I really liked the way Austin kept moving around the break, catching a lot of waves, get big carving maneuvers like that, and even when the waves went flat, he was able to keep his energy going and still do snapping maneuvers off the top. Even though these waves are pretty mushy, he's able to get the tail out on that move and get long distance on the rides. Back to what some of Austin's best moves are is on the backhand, very vertical snap, and I really like the commitment to trying that move. Here we go on the backside again, and this big re-entry, very clean position of place, nice snap there, good rhythm on the wave driving down the line with a big finishing re-entry. These are very, very solid committed maneuvers. Here we go, backside again. Nice re-entry, but not vertical enough. Now that was a very, very committed snap. Look at the energy in that second move versus the first one. The takeoff maneuver has to be the big maneuver and the second maneuver the follow-up. Late drop, still Austin really likes the backside, but no vertical slash there and none down until right down here on the end with a big vertical hit. That wave there is an example of a waste of an opportunity. Now here's a way you can really use a wave. Big slash, good rhythm for a second re-entry and a finishing floater maneuver. That's a great wave. Now you can see Austin getting a lot of life and energy, cutting back with a lot of force and aggression. This is the kind of surfing that I'd really like to see and it needs to be all the time. Big slashing move, driving down the line. Now, will he get the big hit there? Yes, a great cutback on the shoulder. Keeps the board moving over the flat. That's weight off maneuver after a big power move. This is difficult surfing and obviously fell. Wave after wave, lots of utilization of the brake. Big slashing maneuvers, tail out, sliding. This is the kind of commitment that Austin needs to show all the time. Now these last two waves are an example of the kind of energy you can generate on smaller waves. Big carving snapping off the top moves. And this one here, very aggressive slash into a re-entry. Good performance and speed. Then we went to Huntington Beach south side. The surf had come up and there was a real good chance to look at skills and a little bit bigger waves. With the swell coming up a little bit, it was good to see Austin a little bit lumpier wave, a bit more power, and I think that he was having a little bit of trouble at Huntington Beach on these larger waves. The waves tended to sort of push him around rather than him owning and controlling the waves. I want to see more power. You can see how the wave overpowered him there. For a bigger guy, you have to really come into your own and be a total power machine in bigger waves. And here at Huntington, we see how Austin's carving good moves, but the white water overpowers him. He needs to be able to control the wave, push off the white water and generate a lot of power and speed. I love that vertical attempt there. It's exactly what I was looking for on the outside maneuvers. And here we go, Austin goes for it again, hits a big outside maneuver. That starts off a good powerful wave. And yet the white water still seems to control him. It doesn't show a lot of possession of power and aggression. You know, it's good surfing, but it's not the kind of overpowering commitment I want to see in good sized waves. And you can see that this wave was not finished in dynamic form.
now. Carving left on the outside and again the white water overpowers Austin. He needs a bigger board, more powerful turns, but something really needs to happen here. Now, I like the performance pumping the board all the way to the inside. Now when you get an inside section like this, you need to maximize it, do something really spectacular. Big slash off the top, pumps it down the line, two nice moves, but he didn't stick right. it. Oh. And now over on the right hand and near the pier, weaving all the way into the inside, when you get a wave like this, you have to maximize the shore break with something really special and big and powerful. So here we have a big snap off the top, but it was no real major move. Now that was a nice carve off the top on the outside. Now finish off this wave with an inside section that's spectacular. If you have outside moves and an inside move, you're going to get a good score. So now what, what's happening here? What's Austin going to do? Where's he going to go? Left or right? But he needs to set it up with a big snap. Now that was a nice snap and a good, okay little floater on the inside. Now look at this outside snap. Now that's what I'm talking about, about an outside maneuver. Now with that outside maneuver, good flowing cutbacks through the middle of the wave and an inside section, this can be a very, very high scoring wave. So now we see Austin's getting more in control. He's got more power. That's a very clean snap on the inside. Now the question is, can he finish the wave cleanly with good snaps, but he blows the wave with trying an air. Deep takeoff on an outside peak. Let's look for the big splash off the top, clean maneuver. Now let's see this wave get worked all the way through to the inside. Cut back, so off the soft shoulder onto the white water, trying to set up a good inside section. This is the way you can make a complete wave at Huntington. Big outside maneuver, inside clean snapping cut back there, and we're looking for something really complete to finish the wave and a fall off. You can't do that. Another outside wave, no big vertical re-entry, but a nice cutback. But here is where Austin loses the plot. Where to go on the wave? You have to keep carving underneath the white water until the wave reforms when you've got semi-high tide at Huntington. Nice deep takeoff. Big slash on the outside. Now let's see what he can do on the inside here. Nice squirting cut back and off the white water. This is the kind of energy and speed and power I'm looking for Austin to generate in a big, powerful, committed hit there and cleanly finishing the wave. Now this big outside left hand is hard to handle. The wave goes out to sea. It's really difficult on that mushy shoulder to get a big hit on the outside. And then what can you do near the pier to actually generate points? It's very, very difficult to find the correct section. And this is where timing and selection of the correct wave and the time to move down the line is absolutely critical because you can see Austin is late on that hit which costs him the second hit there. So that entire wave is a waste. Now we see another medium sized wave and this is where I'm really looking for Austin to generate more performance. Wave smaller you have to do bigger maneuvers. And so coming into the inside section what kind of big hit? That was a nice hit there, nice cutback, good utilization of the inside and this could be a good pretty good solid backup wave as a competitive scoring wave for Austin as he brings it into the beach. We went down to Winden Sea to a reef break to see how he can handle those sorts of conditions. The tide was high and the waves were really inconsistent but we were able to get Austin to utilize a real good strategy in the break and he got good set waves, good clean carving. These, these sorts of waves really suit Austin's style so he's able to do good slashing maneuvers and good carving turns. I was really expecting a lot of Austin, so we've got some good waves, did nice cutbacks, look at the energy on that snap, able to do a big floater re-entry and link the wave together. I'm uh, you know, pretty optimistic that Austin can surf good waves very, very well. Again, great snap off the face, big cutback. It's that money move, the big snap, that I think Austin can use, provided he shows a lot of energy and pizzazz and style with it. Now taking off deep, see what Austin can do on the inside here, cut back, re-entry and floater, and then coming around here, and that's the snap that he needs to pull every time. Wave count, maximization, wave two on the inside section, big snapping move, he has to make those moves. Committed takeoff, I want to see these guys going for the maneuvers getting the big waves, taking the late drops, doing the big impressive snapping maneuvers, 
showing real aggression and power and style. Later in the session, big deep outside wave. Now, can Austin pull some snappy maneuvers? He has to show zest, energy, and pizzazz. He has to push on that maneuver. Nice speed floater, big re-entry. I like that wave. Now, follow-up wave, backup wave, white water on it. You have to get wave cut. You can't always look for perfect waves. Now, that was a nice aggressive cut back. Got speed. And you can see on the outside here, Oscar's paddling for a peak, setting it up. Now can we see a big major snap, beautiful snap there on the outside, coming and setting up. See, once you've got the maneuver on the outside, now it's just, can you finish the wave cleanly and get a maneuver on the inside? So you can see setting up the inside section here, for a big snap, again, squirt, right into the shore break. That was a very solid wave. Committed to wave count, going from wave after wave, and getting the maneuvers in time on the outside section. And this kind of energy and zest in the maneuvers is really important to get good scores. And on this wave, you can see good surfing, solid, nice turns, but no energy, no speed, no power, no aggression. Now that's what we really need. And this one cap that's very good, that shows speed. We want more aggro through the wave, so it shows up as style, aggression, power. The last day was at lower trestles. The waves are pretty good, but really crowded, and I got to see what Oscar could do in terms of working a break and working around other competitors in the lineup. In a break like trestles, you really got to insist on getting a good wave, and when you do, you have to make it. That was a bad blow of that wave, followed up by a small white water wave on the inside, and without doing anything vertical. The lefts of trestles are very, very difficult to get vertical, but the guys in the CT are doing it. Austin has to learn how to. Finishes the waves all the way down on the inside, but that should have been one complete wave. Then he's in position to come outside for an outside right-hander. And he's just a touch late on this wave. Now, nice surfing again, sort of somewhat reminiscent of wind and sea. Nice cutbacks, but no real zest and energy and power. Now, paddling, and misses a wave, bad mistake but gets onto a wave right behind it. Now this wave does have white water, and he's sort of tentative, he's late for hits, he's caught up in the section. You have to have smooth flowing maneuvers like that one there. And you know, does a nice cut back on the inside, but no big outside moves to make the wave a big score. Now at this point, Austin should know that wipeouts are unforgivable. Now here's an outside section, big clean carving maneuver. Now this wave has to be flawless to maximize the score. Very clean carving cut back off the top, board getting out over the top of the lip, going vertical again, nice snapping cut back, good rhythm, power, speed flow, matching the wave nicely. Something's missing right here because the gap catches an edge and loses it. Now look at that nice snap off the face there. Big snap in the entry, good commitment, lots of energy in those moves, very, very nice vertical move but blows the wave. You cannot do that. Another outside big giant snap. Now there's lots of energy and push, and perhaps not as clean as I want, but I'd like to see Austin pushing his limits, going beyond what he normally does. That's what we need to do in these workouts, and what he needs to do in competition, is push the limits and get out of his comfort zone. Now catch an edge, but push the board hard. Nice snap and cut back, finishing this wave off cleanly all the way down to the inside section. Now here's a left-hander. His timing is late on this wave. Again, it's a hard wave to surf. And I would have expected Austin to actually do really well on the left here. So there's a big piece of his surfing that he can actually improve is coming up to trestles and surf the left-handers and figuring out how to get high-scoring waves there because the lefts of trestles are the waves that you can actually get quick wave count and score good points on. Okay, commitment, power, taking off inside of all of the guys and not letting them hassle him. Taking off, doing cutbacks, gouging under the lip. Good energy and a good expression and Austin pushing his board harder than he would have normally. And you can't be out there just having fun and surfing for the guys. You've got to push very, very hard because the energy that you put out shows to the judges. In overview, I'm very impressed with Austin surfing. He can ride the waves really well but he just seems lackluster and doesn't have the energy to really show his performance to the best degree. 
So he really needs to work on his energy and paddling around the brake. He needs to increase his wave count dramatically. He needs to get more jazz and energy into the moves he does on a wave so it just shines to the judges. And he needs to just stop thinking and start doing in the water. Those are the key elements and I think with that kind of whole passion that he can bring to his act to counterbalance the quality of his surfing, I think Austin's got a good chance of doing real well on the WQS this year. Well, thanks a lot for watching. This is Kanga Cans. I'll see you later, mate.